this is what the lady said is invisible this is what she said is invisible and that it won't leave any casting on my face Minnie's bitches look at her look how they thirst being poppin is a curse your man wanna look at my skirt first I make him fill up my purse 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 hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Adiola Patron you know the vibes already before i start this video i want to say guys if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please make sure you subscribe i'm on route to 100k i need to get to 100k by friday like guys 100k by friday nothing less nothing more oh gosh if it's more it can be more now i need to hit 100k by friday i feel like we can do friday i see you guys tweeting me like people are watching my page people are like counting down for me already we still got like i think we're at like 1900 subscribers away which isn't that much guys we can, we can really do it share my page get everyone to subscribe get your family to subscribe your pet your dogs your exes your landlords your employees everyone in it when you share my page as well make sure you at me on instagram or you at me on twitter so i can see you guys share my page so i can just you know share love and appreciate you guys let me get into this video this video is kind of like a rant kind of like not kind of like skincare kind of like kind of like not by the way guys if my lighting is off first of all my brother broke well actually i'm not saying my brother because apparently it wasn't him he doesn't want to take responsibility but somebody broke my ring light so i have no ring light i just have two studio lights today's video we are going to be talking about spf seeing as it's so hot let's stay on topic let's stay on trend let's talk about SPF so basically I'm gonna have a little rant about it or whatever and why I wear it etc etc everyone should be wearing SPF like I feel like with SPF I used to think that I should only wear I don't need to wear SPF one because I'm black I used, I genuinely used to think that so I never used to wear SPF I think it was only this year that I started wearing SPF but yeah guys everyone should be wearing SPF it protects your skin every skin needs protecting and also if you have dark marks and like acne scarring and stuff like that like I do if you're not wearing SPF and you're going out in the sun those marks will get darker basically that's the main reason that I started that's what made me like start wearing SPF and also when you're in your house as well still wear SPF and when it's cold and the sun's not out and it's winter still wear SPF because yeah honey. so let me get into the first SPF I started using because I feel like you know as a black woman getting SPF where it's like it's not gonna leave you looking ashy it's not gonna leave you looking purple it's not gonna leave you looking scary it's really hard like you actually can't go online and just buy a random SPF and think oh yeah this is gonna be absolutely fine we have to see it on black people first otherwise we could just literally be wasting our money so the first SPF I got into let me get into the story so basically this was my first appointment with my facial lady I've spoke about her before and it was going through my skin things I do things I don't do and then she got onto SPF and she was like do you wear SPF I was like no and she was like yeah that's the first thing you need to start doing so literally after my appointment with her I went into the clinic counter because that was the only beauty counter that was like had someone there and it was open i was so excited like you know when you're like yep yeah, i'm gonna get my skin together i don't care like i'm gonna spend like if i need to spend money on good quality products that's what i'm going to do and at the time then i used to rate clinic so highly like even though i'd never even used any of their products i just used to see them all over instagram the girls of the popping skin were talking about clinic this clinic that clinic i was like yeah clinic yeah when you think something's a bit pricey you automatically assume that yeah this is gonna do me wonder so here's me walking up to the clinic counter i said to her yep yeah, do you know what i need a factor 50 spf for my skin the lovely lady at the counter brings this to my attention so this is the clinic spf factor 50 mineral sun cream fluid for face sensitive skin formula so when i got this i was over the moon i was like back to 50 amazing and at the time i was like to her oh is it gonna leave like a white casting on my face she was like no it's invisible even trying to read it here it doesn't even say invisible it doesn't even say invisible but at the time you know i'm listening to this wonderful lady what she's telling me about all of this amazing thing about this spf she's like yeah it's invisible la -de da the lady opens it and she puts it on her skin and she rubs it into her skin onto her palm and it like disappeared and I was like oh okay that's fantastic I'll take it did I even rub it on my own hand my own palm or my own face to even like babe we're two different colors like she was white and I was black if it's gone through and invisible on her skin doesn't mean it's gonna like have no casting on my skin that is so much more darker like 
boom. So anyway, this was the first SPF I got. I'm gonna try it on for you guys. So this SPF is quite thick, so look, I can hold it on my hand like this, and it will still stay there. I'm gonna put it on my face. So this is the SPF I used to use. I don't know if you guys used to remember when I'll do my videos and I'll be like, oh my god guys, don't tell me that my face is like, it's my SPF, I know. Cause I just used to think, I'm not being funny, I paid money for this. So if you think that I'm not going to wear it because I look white, you have done that here because what do you want me to do, throw it in the bin? This is what the lady said is invisible. This is what she said is invisible and that it won't leave any casting on my face. This is what the lady recommended to me that will not leave any casting on my face. Swear down. Interesting. Absolutely interesting. I just don't know if... Okay. Anyway, it's my fault guys. I should have tried it on my hand because maybe I would have realised. But I was just really so excited. I just started getting into SPF. The lady told me it was invisible and I took her word for it. And clearly, we can clearly see that this is a... The casting on this is literally not even a little bit. It's not even a little bit. It's a lot. It's a lot. So guys, I just wanted to go take that off my face. I do want to say with that one, I still do wear it. Like, but if I wasn't leaving my house, I would wear it because it's like, I still want protection in the house. And one reason why I do like that one is it's because it's a bit more heavy. It's a bit more like moisturizer. So I don't mind that. But let's say if the weather was like this in the heat, it would probably feel like too heavy on my face. But in the winter or whatever, just to use it up, I would still use it in my house. Would I buy it again? Definitely, definitely not. After that Clinique fail, I then moved on to this brand which is called Clinique Hair. So this is Sun Shield Cream SPF 30. Does this one say invisible? Oh yes. A lightweight undetectable sun cream cream. Undetectable it says undetectable. Do you know what it is? Some SPF is yeah. SPFs. In real life I feel like I don't look as white but when I get it on camera it looks whiter than I actually look like in real life. Like when I look in the mirror, I feel like I don't look white, but then when I get my camera out, I look white. So I don't know what one is real life or not. But yeah, so with this one, I used to think it was invisible until I would get my camera out to start vlogging and then people would be like, what's that white casting on her face? And I'm like, <sighs> just my SPF, you know? And bitch is not trying to get her acne scars to go darker. I'm just trying to protect my skin, okay? Leave me alone, like. So this one is also, you know, the consistency is quite thick. Like, I can put it on my fingers and it will literally just stay there. But it says it's lightweight. I can't remember how it feels on my skin, but let's find out. This one is definitely undetectable. Remember when I got this one as well, I was so excited. I can't remember who recommended this one to me. I actually can't remember. Oh gosh, this is what this one looks like. So this one is not as bad as the Clinique one in terms of the casting. It still kind of just leaves something. I don't know if you guys can see. This is what I'm saying, like when I do my camera, like if I was to put this on in my mirror and was to be like, okay, heading out, I look like to me, I have nothing on, but on camera, what does it look like to you? Anyway guys, with this one, I guess it's not too bad. When it says it's lightweight, like right now, it doesn't feel lightweight to me. Like it still feels a bit like heavy. With this one, I did like basically nearly finish this before I actually bought another one. I felt like I had a bit of a, like I feel like with this one, you can kind of see a little bit of a casting, but it's not like, oh my God, a casting, like the Clinique one. But I feel like I won't buy it again, just because I've used some, which I literally feel like is actually literally visible so it's like why am I buying this for if there's actually ones out there that is literally making me look like I have nothing on so now let me show you guys my favorite SPF so far before I show you guys my favorite SPF ever that I've used so far I still want to try a few more because I feel like there's so many out there that I still want to try and use more like there must be more out there that is even better but for now this is the one that I'm happy with until like I see other ones that I'm interested in trying to see what it's like on my skin also if you guys have any recommendations drop them below but yeah let me wipe my face and let's try let me show you guys my favorite spf 
current. So the current SPF I'm using right now is, oh, I don't even want to try and pronounce this because I know I'm going to say it wrong, LA Rouge Posse. This literally says invisible on there. There's no reason why you should be giving me any casting when you're saying you're invisible right on the front of the pack. I find this one super lightweight, guys. When I put it on, it's literally so runny. But look, like I can't even hold it. Look, I can't even hold it on my hand for too long because it just starts running away from me. Let's put this on. See? And I feel like with this one, look, I feel like this one literally just goes into my skin. Like you actually can't see it and look how easy it was to rub in like the rest of them it was like as I was rubbing it in it was like I put a bit of paint on my face literally rubs in so well and there we have it my current favorite SPF and I feel like it's lightweight as well and it's factor 50 as well which is really good so guys make sure you stay SPF up like you don't even need to have acne scarring or anything to be wearing SPF. Protect your skin as we age, you know. It's better to start now, honey. So yeah, I'll list all three of them below if for any reason you want to try out the rest. That is it for this SPF video. Let me know if you want me to try out more things. Well, I will be trying out more things anyway because you guys know that I'm obsessed with trying new things on my face, but whatever. Also, this came up. I know a lot of people have been complimenting my skin because I'm not gonna lie, my skin has improved dramatically since, you know way back then still not where I wanted it to be but I just want to update you guys that everything that I purchased previously that I would I was saying that I was using I haven't changed anything guys please 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 don't forget to like this video make sure you comment and make sure you're subscribed guys we're on route to 100k I'm so excited I'm gonna drop ah Honestly, I can't wait for you guys to just see. I, anyway, I feel like I'm putting too much pressure on it because I feel like imagine I hit 100k and then I show you guys everything that I wanted to show you guys and you're like, ah, is that it? But I'm still excited for it. Anyway, 100k by Friday. Please, 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 please. Let's try and make it a thing. Let's get Adjo lost 100k by Friday and then, like, let's just see what happens on Friday. Like, for, and also follow me on social media because if I'm not on YouTube talking to my shh, I'm definitely on Twitter and Instagram where you guys can, you know, keep me updated on how far we are to 100k. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you're making use of this heat and I hope you're staying hydrated, staying safe. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Minnie's bitches looking hurt.